Student pilots learn in ground school that airplanes can stall at any attitude and any airspeed. But what does that really mean? We typically practice stalls with the wings level and engine power at idle, and the results are predictable. The stall takes place at about the same airspeed and the same nose-up attitude every time, and simply lowering the nose below the horizon fixes everything. But what about in the real world where momentary aircraft upsets can lead to aerodynamic stalls in unusual attitudes? Here, a Cicada TB-30 Epsilon is going to stall with the airplane's nose pointed straight down, full engine power, and an indicated airspeed well beyond the power off stall speed. Now as the nose comes down, I'm going to pull, and you'll feel the airplane depart on the downline. So there the airplane is pointed straight down. We're at full power, and yet we can still exceed the airplane's critical angle of attack. A pilot's reflex to pull back on the stick is deeply ingrained. It's natural for any pilot, particularly a startled one, to haul back on the stick when they find themselves in a steep nose-down attitude. Now we just, all we need to do is release the, the, uh, the back pressure, lower that critical, lower the angle of attack, let the airplane fly out. The takeaway from all this is something we all know academically. The wing always stalls at the same critical angle of attack, and that angle has nothing to do with the airplane's attitude. Dave Hirschman, AOPA Live.